Welcome back to my studio. In this video, I will show you how to embroider these lovely mushrooms using chain stitches. Chain stitches are excellent for clothing items because they are sturdy and hold their shape well through washing and folding. Let's get started. We will start with the bigger mushroom stock. I will use three strands of DMC 3774 and the chain stitches to embroider around the outline of the stock. Continue around the outline until you meet the first chain. To close our first row of chain stitches, push your needle through underneath the first chain, piece into the current chain eye, and pull through. We just created our last chain and completed our first row of chain stitches. Continue inward with as many rows of chain stitches as you need to fill in the mushroom stock. When you come across a sharp corner like this, put down an extra stitch at the corner to secure our corner chain. Then pierce your needle up through the chain's eye and continue your chain stitches. We will embroider the gills using the same color and stitches.
because of how the gills are shaped. We will now divide our rows of chain stitches into two sides and continue filling them in. Let's fill in the smaller mushroom stock just as we did the bigger stock. I will use three strands of DMC 3777 for the mushrooms caps. We will continue using the chain stitches starting at the outline and working our way inward to fill in the mushrooms. For the bigger cap, because of how it's shaped, we will not close this row of stitches, but continue with our second row. Let's 
Let's fill in the smaller mushroom cap with the same color in stitches. So put down extra stitches to secure a few lifted chains. Lastly, I will use three strands of DMC 3774 and the French knot stitches to create the dots on the mushroom caps. You can put as many dots as you want onto the caps. You can also adjust the size of the dots by adjusting the number of loops in each knot to create some dynamics to the mushrooms. And that is our mushroom embroidery using chain stitches. To remove the transfer, carefully cut off the excess transfer around the embroidery. Be careful not to cut into the stitches or fabric. Wash under running water until the remaining transfer completely dissolves. You can also machine wash your fabric or clothing on delicate to remove the transfer. Let air dry. Give me a thumbs up to let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial. This mushroom embroidery pattern and DIY kit are available in my Etsy shop. The shop link is in the description. Let me know in the comments if you have any feedback, questions, want to share your embroidery journey, have any requests for pattern or tutorial, or simply say hello. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on my latest content. I post a long form video every Saturday and shorts during the week. Visit my Etsy store if you want to purchase my products. I also accept custom order requests. Follow me on social media and subscribe to my newsletters using the link tree in the description. Thank you so much for watching.